All right, so today we're cooking a classic English pork pie with hot water paste, which is probably one of the most easy pastries to make. So let's get started. So start by putting your water in a pan on a medium heat, and then you can add in your lard. You could use butter here, but the pastry won't be as crisp. And you'll just leave this until your lard is melted. So in the meantime, we'll make the filling. I'm using minced pork shoulder here, but you can use any pork that you like and add in your salt, pepper, sage, thyme, bacon, and about a quarter of a nutmeg grated. If your water begins to boil with your lard in it, make sure you turn it down to a low heat. Anyway, back to the filling, you just want to mix that all together. And keep an eye on that pan, because if your lard melts and the water starts to boil, this will happen. Now clean up all the hot fat that you just spilled everywhere, and place your filling in the fridge to chill. And now we'll move back to the pastry, so whilst your lard and water is still hot, you can add in all of your flour and stir with the back of a wooden spoon and just keep mixing it until it comes together into one ball. Dump it onto a surface and leave to cool slightly until you can handle it. Once cooled slightly, get yourself a tray lined with baking paper, a couple of chef rings and just begin to knead the dough until smooth and then separate it into roughly three equal sized pieces. Two of these will be for the bases and one piece will be for both the lids. Now take one third of your pastry and flatten it out and then place it into a chef ring and you're just going to press it into the chef ring until it is even thickness all the way around and right to the bottom and you'll want to leave a little bit of overhang here. And we'll just do the same with the other chef ring too. And now take your filling out of the fridge and fill these up about three quarters of the way and then you'll want to take a spoon and press the mixture firmly in as it will shrink slightly whilst cooking and you'll end up with an empty space all around the outside of your pie. and then just fill up the other one the same. Okay, and then just move them to one side for a minute because we need to make the lids. So grab the last third of your dough and give that a quick knead because it would have dried out slightly. Now flour a work surface and roll out your remaining dough until it's about the thickness of the size of your pies. And now cut out a circle that's roughly the same size as the top of your pies. And now roll this out another couple of times until it's slightly bigger than the top of your pies. Place on top and press down firmly until it's contacted all the meat and then we'll just crimp the sides together with the overhang from earlier. And then using a sharp knife trim all the excess and then I'm just going to press down for a bit of decoration every centimetre or so. Next up take a sharp knife and make a hole in the centre of your pie, this will let the steam out. And then enlarge the hole by just pressing your finger into it. And that's one pork pie finished so we'll just do the same process for the next one. So again, take your remaining dough, press it flat, roll it out, cut out a circle, roll it out a little more, place it on top, crimp around, trim off the excess, fancy bit of decoration, hole in the middle, done. And now these are ready to cook, so we'll put them in the oven at 190 degrees C or 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about 35 minutes, and then we should be able to carefully remove the rings. And here I've just whisked together one egg yolk and one tablespoon of water and we're going to brush them liberally with this all over and then back in the oven for another 15 minutes. After 15 minutes we'll take them back out and give them another egg wash and then back in for a further 15. And these are now done so we'll take them out and leave them to cool slightly and in the meantime we're going to make a jelly mixture. This is completely optional so if you don't like jelly in your pork pies you can just leave it out but seeing as we're making a traditional one we are going to make a gelatin mixture to go in there. So to do that, we'll just open up the holes that probably sealed themselves whilst cooking. We'll soak three grams of gelatin leaves in water for about three minutes, squeeze out the excess and add that to 100 milliliters of chicken stock. Give it a quick stir until dissolved and then we're going to pour it into these pork pies. The traditional way would be to use a funnel, but I find this meat syringe is a lot better for doing this and a lot less messy. So either way, take some of your gelatin mixture and you're just going to put it into the hole that you made and you may have to repeat this three or four times as it will slowly sink into the pork pie filling up all the gaps. Once your pork pies are filled, just give the tray a quick tap just to make sure there's no air pockets in and refrigerate overnight. Alright, so it's the next day now, so all that's left to do is to cut one of these open, serve it with some pickles and some mustard and enjoy! If you learned anything today, make sure you leave me a like, subscribe and I'll see you next week.